Wahaha! Welcome to Inktober days 16 through 20, and these are a set of button slash acrylic charms that I'm calling the Killer Boyfriends! So, uh, yes, I am compiling days 16 through 22, and I actually did not get the line art for three of these pictures, I think. Uh, there are five in total, and these are what I'm calling my Killer Boyfriends! So they are some murderers from different scary movies um that i i just i like scary movies and this is the time of year so why not right so um if you pre-order an inktober book you will get a full set of buttons that include all of these characters which are leatherface who i'm line arting now ghostface who you just saw me line art michael myers from the halloween movies uh jason from the Friday the 13th movies, and then Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. So, um, yeah, they all have, like, a little tagline under them that says something that would be, like, boyfriend material-ish, like, right now, uh, Leatherface says handsome, and they all have something that pertains to them, and it was really fun to come up with. So, if you don't get the Inktober art book, these are also available for pre-order as acrylic charms, um just because I thought it would be fun to make those. And I do have those up for pre-order right now uh, in my store. Actually, I lied. I did line art three of these. I did not show you two of them. Whoops. I actually started line arting them, and then I was like, oh shoot, I wanted to uh, show you guys this. These were a lot of fun to do. They didn't take very long. It was just a whole de-stress thing, and I wanted to show them all at the same time, so I, um, I kind of waited a little bit. So I compiled them into one video just because it would be easy because these did not take that long. Um, I sped everything up times 10 and it's only a five minute video for all of them. A lot of them have just solid black like parts which I thought was pretty cool and then I add minimal shading. So here I am. I'm starting with the shading. Yay for that. Um, I tried to do a mix of blendy shading and cell shading. Um, I'm not sure how I liked that, <laughs> but um, I, again, I think these turn out pretty good. So I think the one I had the most trouble with was Freddy Krueger only because he was the only one that like had to look somewhat human. The rest of them have masks on or something of the equivalent. With him, he's just a burn victim. So uh, he was a little more difficult, but I think he turned out really well. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite scary movie is and uh, maybe your favorite masked killer or killer in general from a scary movie. Mine is Michael Myers. I'm working on him right now and I don't know. I just love his whole just everything. He's great. He is patient. He will always get you. He always kills you no matter how slow he walks. And I love the movies, so uh, they, they're they special in my heart. But leave a comment down below, let me know what your favorite scary movie is. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of my patron squad, you can certainly do so by pledging a minimum of a dollar. I will leave a link on the screen if you want to check that out. You get access to things like works in progress and sketches, and uh, if you pledge higher tiers, you can actually get prints in the mail, and every month, even if you pledge a dollar, you get a line art to color. How cool is that? So if you want to pledge and support this channel, uh, I would really appreciate it if you'd go ahead over there. And plus, we can talk and stuff. Uh, Patreon is a nice community. I've had a lot of fun with everybody that's been over there. Uh, everybody's really nice, and we have a lot of fun. So I'm working on Freddy now, and he has, like, these grungy teeth, and it was really hard for me to color. Uh, and then I decided to do the lines inside the face, like a flesh tone color, just because I thought it looked weird black. Um... And then I added some like darker red splooches and stuff just to kind of give it some definition. And overall, I think he, he turned out pretty good. I was pretty happy with what I did with his picture. Um, my favorite one out of all of them, though, I think is Leatherface, just because I think he turned out pretty good, which is the one we're getting to right about now. Overall, I had a lot of fun with these, and again, if you're interested in checking any of them out, I would be super grateful. Um, pre-orders close for both the Inktober art book and these charms on November 20th. So they close on the same day. So if you want to get them for like an early Christmas present for someone else, or if you just want to get them for yourself, uh, yeah, they close then. 
I haven't decided what I want the pre-order bonus to be yet for the Killer Boyfriend's uh, acrylic charms. It'll probably be something small, um, maybe like a print, just because uh, acrylic charms are rather expensive. But here's a look at all of them, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute little squid pod, there is a subscribe button down below and a little bell next to it that if you click that, you get notified on when I upload new videos. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!